So when you in the military, all the black people congregate. We find each other. Come hell or high water, we locate each other. We congregate together, which is a good thing, especially if you oversee. And usually it's all branches. All branches are welcome. You know, you oversee because ain't that many of us. So we would always we would have our little pockets of groups. And in our particular group, it was Navy, Air Force. There was a Coast Guard. And there was there was one Army, I believe. We would always get together during the, the holidays, right, for cookouts and dinners and so on and so forth. The more the merrier. So we had this one dude who used to come through all the time. Nobody knew this dude. He was Air Force, but nobody, none of the Air Force people that was there, that they didn't know the dude. And so he would come through, and dude was kind of odd. He was bit, and he would always bring bush beer. And I would be looking like, man, hey, man don't them black folks drink no damn bush beer? But he would bring it, so whatever. But that ain't, the, that ain't the craziest part about my man. My man Dick was very prominent. And, you know, that sounds like that's not a bad thing. But I'm going to tell you, you know, it, it started to be an uh, issue. My man would wear number sweats. And warm up bottoms, and this dick, dick would be front and center, leading the way. And we'd be like, you know, it was hard to it was hard to ignore. Now, he his dick wouldn't be sticking out all the time, but it would be sticking out enough to where you could remember it from the last time. You see this nigga like, hey man, hey man, didn't that wasn't that, wasn't that nigga dick out last time? And be like, yeah, that nigga dick was out. You know, he gotta take his t-shirt and tuck his t-shirt into his sweats. I say it was weird. Bush beer. Eh. I would confront the air force like, who the fuck? This y'all guy, get your airman. They were like, I don't know him, I don't know him. Hey, somebody, somebody tell him something. How the hell he find out where we at? Because sometimes he would show up to the crib with the dick already sticking out. This nigga is aroused. And so it started to be a source of conversation. You ain't know what was going to wake this man meet up. And then my man wouldn't never sit down. That's what's so crazy. It got so bad to the point that we started, we gave my man a nickname. His nickname was Vic DeBone. And he loved to watch us play dominoes and cards. But he would come and stand behind people or stand up and he would fold his arm and watch us play. Well, my man dick is eye level. It, nothing will be more infuriating. You sitting there, yeah, hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> I'm tearing the ass up. Hey, this nigga dick in my face. Yo, my man's. Oh, nah, man, nah, get a chill, man. Like, you be like, nah, nah, I'm good. I, I like standing up, man. I got the little, little touch of the PTSD. I can't have nobody behind me. Now, you're going to have to go get a seat, man. Your dick is trying to read my hand. You don't have to get, you got to move. It got to be a point that where the fellas, we were like, we gonna, you got to talk to this nigga about his dick. Because his dick started to be a problem. It started to be disruptive to gatherings. But we, we want to make sure we had our shit straight first. So we got the girls all together. We got all the females together. Like, we're we, 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 we going to have to say something to this man about his dick. Um, But we don't want to go in with no information. Look, y'all women, y'all y'all gave it a, a longer gauge than we have. Is he packing? Because if he packing, it's going to make it seem like we, you know what I'm saying, we, we also hate hating shit. So is he packing or is he hard? And all the females said, no, it don't look like he packing. It looked like he aroused. Like, that's what we like, hell yeah, that's what we said. Him and his dick came to see one of y'all, I believe. Which one of y'all smiling at him? One of y'all sniggling and giggling at him. Oh, you know, I ain't saying nothing to him. Hell no. Somebody batting the eyes at him. How he show up, dick stirred up. Wait till the next holiday, we say Vic Bone come. We gonna motherfucking say something. Well, you know it. Vic the Bone show up. But for whatever reason, this time Vic the Bone had on a polo with, with a, a long polo cover and shit. So now we can't talk to the man about the man dick if his dick not a problem. So you see what I'm saying? So the, so the dudes, we can cut the situation. So the shit die down and, and, you know, he won't come to one something. And then that nigga show up dick out again. But the dudes, the, the coalition of dick confronters is not here. And that went on for a while until Vic the Bone transferred. The lesson learned is treat your dick like bad children. If you can't control it, you need to stay at home with it.